I'm going to go through some more subtle uh, body language and then we are going to watch some videos. So if you're not taking it all in and I'm going through too much, please don't worry because you will get your handouts as well. But also hopefully seeing the visual on the videos is going to really help you see what I'm banging on about. Um, so we're just going to talk about conflict diffusing signals. These are often known as calming signals. So calming signals are just behaviours which are within the dog's behavioural repertoire for diffusing tension, lowering conflict, and they use them in pretty much every single interaction that they're ever going to do in life. So it's very important that we can start to see these. Um, Calming signals were first coined by a trainer called uh, Tirad Rigas, who's a Norwegian dog trainer. And these this started in the 90s. She wrote a great book um, on them with lots of pictures. And there's been some research since then, um, which has been quite interesting. Um, but they're anecdotally, I'm talking about these every day of my working life. They're so, so important. So here in this picture, we've got some head turning and also the fact that both dogs have frozen. So they've both stood still. That's a signal in itself to say, I don't want to be threatening. Um, this, um, the, these pictures, sorry, show a puppy who is licking her lips. In the middle, we've got a dog who's yawning. And to the right, we've got a dog who's lying down to try and calm a social situation down. And in this picture here, we've got picture on the left. We've got two dogs coming towards each other, but curving. So they're ensuring that their approach is offset um, to be as unconfrontational as possible in the middle. Similarly, we've got the Black Lab who is keeping a distance from the Westie and also doing some displacement sniffing and ensuring that his body is also turning away from the Westie. He's not going straight towards him. He's turning away. So he is really using a lot of body posi positioning um, as well as the sniffing to try and calm that situation. And then we've got another picture of a lie down. So let's have a little look at some videos. So whenever you have two dogs who might meet in the park, there's always going to be a conversation that goes on between them. And that conversation normally starts at a distance. So here we've got the little schnauzer who sees the golden retriever approaching and he stops and freezes. And then the golden retriever mirrors him, slows down, some displacement sniffing and then freezes also. And then they both do a little bit of head turning. Now notice the puppy here is a bit oblivious and just running around <laughs> trying to get them to play. The golden retriever shakes off and says no thank you and walks off. Here again the puppy wants to play and the schnauzer is not very happy about that so the schnauzer does a bit of a body turn to the puppy. And then as the puppy stops the schnauzer slows down and has a little sniff so the schnauzer here is making sure he maintains distance from the puppy. Here we've got a cockapoo who's a little bit nervous. So as he approaches, he actually slows down, his paw is raised and his posture is backing up and just quite lowered. So he's a little bit anxious about this big brown and white dog. However, because the brown and white dog approaches in quite a calm way, his approach is offset, so he's not being confrontational at all, the interaction actually ends up going quite well. This dog is anxious about a dog and a person in the distance. So from quite a distance away, she's already started doing lots of head turning, displacement sniffing and head lowering. And she's also moving to the right. So we can see how she's influencing how she approaches the dog. And she's actually pulling her owner over to the right in order to avoid the situation altogether. And when we see this from our dogs, it's really important that we allow them to use that distancing. So this dog is showing a lie down behaviour to try and diffuse any conflict that could arise with the approaching Labrador. And there are several people approaching also. 
So she's making herself as unthreatening as possible. Now, on this occasion, we've got a cockapoo who sees a dog in the distance. Um, and as soon as she sees this dog, she freezes. Does a nice big head turn. And then another little head turn and then they have a nice bum to bum sniff. So that really nice big head turn was really saying, I don't want any problems here. And this dog, who's also a bit anxious, he's just done a nice head lower displacement sniff. He does a nice head turn and then he freezes as well. So he is making sure he, he lowers any conflict levels with the pointer who is approaching at this moment. In this situation, we have a collie who's very anxious about a mobility scooter in the distance. So as soon as she sees the scooter, she starts to hesitate and freeze. So she's really unsure about this situation and we're not really setting her up for success by just walking towards it. She starts to scoot to the left. So if it wasn't for this pathway and this tight lead, she maybe would prefer to scoot around the situation and go into the bushes to avoid it altogether. So here we have a black dog who's using a lie down and some head turning to try and calm the puppy. He wants to engage with the puppy. We can tell by the fact that he's positioning himself facing the puppy, but he doesn't want to play in the frantic way that the puppy does. So he's trying to calm the situation down using body positioning and head turning.